David Reynolds. I'm the manager. Sit down, John. Jack. You've been recommended by the management here. I know your father. He's a bit of a reputation, hasn't he? Has he? In any case, I understand you've had some previous experience in South Africa. I think you'll find the rules here just a little bit different. Before we start, you haven't got a police record, have you? No. What school did you go to? I was at Bedos. Oh. I don't think I know that one. Private, I suppose. There are three types of casino in the UK. High volume, small action, and middle of the road, which does. Okay, Charlie. Do you have a salon privé? I tried. Wasn't enough business. Bunters like company. Welcome back, Jack. To the house of addiction. Thanks, Charlie. Right. Let's see you handle the chips. I have to assume the serial numbers on the bowl and wheel correspond. We check every two days. Why not every day? That's the procedure here. Right, sort the chips. Go. Good. All right, now pay me out eighteen hundred and twenty fives. Very good. Okay, let's have a look at your blank jack. Fourteen. Two men. Nineteen. Sixteen. Too many. Thirteen. Eighteen. Fourteen. Nineteen. Twenty. What's the count? Minus nine. I make it minus eight. Minus nine. What makes you so sure? It's a rule. Always stand by your first count. The odds are you're right. Good call. You want me to check? I said good call. It had taken him 45 minutes, but Jack now had Mr. Reynolds' number. The man couldn't count. Right, just let me run through a few things. As a dealer, you never gamble. Not anywhere. And we'll need your picture. What for? For the database. It can be accessed by every casino in the country. We have the same system for punters. I don't gamble. Ever? I don't gamble, Mr. Reynolds. Hmm. Next point. Friendships between croupiers inside or outside the casino are discouraged. Relationships with females working here are expressly forbidden. We had the same rule in Sun City, but it was impossible to check. Well, this isn't South Africa. We'd know because someone would report it. Believe me, someone always does. Does know or does report. What would happen if I knew something like that and didn't report it? We'd know. There are no secrets in this casino. And you'd be punished. How? First offence, verbal warning. Second offence, written warning. That one's filed and sometimes copied to the gaming board. My discretion. Third offence, you'd be sacked on the spot. You'd never work in a casino in this country again. And there's another rule. You're forbidden to talk to or recognise a punter outside the casino. If you see someone who's gambled here, even if it's just casually on the street, you must ignore him or her. You're not married, are you? Girlfriend. Yeah. She's not in the... She's not in the gaming business, is she? No. Good. Right. Well, as soon as you get your licence, you can start. Fine. So, are you planning to make a career in casino work? And end up like you. I just want the job. You're not the usual type we get in here, Jack. Mr Reynolds was right. It was true. Excuse me. Jack was up above the world. Yep. A writer looking down on his subject. A detached... I can't talk about that just now. Voyeur. I'm with somebody. 
Well, they can wait. I'll be home at the usual time. Don't get mad at Jack. Casino work doesn't mix with house and garden. Any questions? Yeah, what's the salary? 